I'm here with Dr. Jason Ahola from Colorado State University and it's an animal science program there and was also closely involved this year or last year in the uh, 2011 National Beef Quality Audit. Yeah, this was uh, what we called phase three of the audit and this is the first time this phase has occurred in an audit and the audits have been around since 1991. And this time they actually went back and looked at uh, trying to incorporate uh, producers. So we, we did a nationwide survey of producers of beef, and that involved everyone from seed stock, cow, calf, stalker, dairy, feed yard, all of those producers. The, the main focus was commercial cow, calf, though. And we did this online and also in written surveys. And we basically uh, wanted to focus on how do they influence the quality of beef. And, and the major kind of take home points from that were, uh, the first thing we asked them is, when you hear the term quality, what does that mean to you in relation to the beef industry? And the two things that they came to the top of their minds were producing cattle and calves that are healthy. And then the other one was producing beef that is safe and wholesome. That's what quality meant to these cow-calf producers. Then we said, well, how do you feel that you influence quality? And 96% of them said, well, we do think we influence quality somehow and something we do to these cattle. And interestingly, the number one reason or, or uh, way that they influenced quality was uh, the use of good stockmanship and animal handling skills. The second thing, which is a close second, was the use of preventative health care. And that was mostly through the use of vaccines and avoiding disease. So there was a pretty good theme around health care and also how animals are managed uh, in terms of how they're handled. Uh, the thing we kind of followed up a little bit was some of the health care things. Nine out of ten producers have a close working relationship with their veterinarian relative to health care protocols. And the vast majority of producers have some sort of consistent protocol for vaccinating calves or treating disease. Unfortunately, less than a third of them have it written down. So they simply didn't go out of their way to write something down that they're doing that's good. Relative to the animal handling and the importance of that, we asked producers, um, do you use a hot shot or an electric prod as your primary driving tool when working cattle? 98% of producers said no, which is very encouraging. It, it's used mm -hmm. at a very low level and it's uh, used by really uh, a small percentage of producers on a small percentage of animals. It's one of the things that came out of one of the other phases of the audit was that uh, a lot of people in the supply chain, retailers and food service, want to know about how and where cattle were raised. And you know that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. To a feed yard, it means I want to know if the cattle were vaccinated. To a uh, consumer, it means I want to know how the cattle were handled, were they handled properly. And so there's a lot of need for this information, and there's really not a good system in place to try to, to, try to drive that information. So it is a great opportunity for the beef industry to sort of recognize that, that this is the number one need identified in this audit, was telling the beef story and, and being able to identify uh, basically how animals are managed. Simply producers need to document and pass information down the chain. And uh, ideally that's going to happen with um, alliances and partnerships and a variety of things like that. But sometimes it's just going to require proactive producers to go out of their way and basically uh, make sure that whoever's buying their calves or their cattle or their beef knows how those animals are managed in their, under their care.